Uh, today we're looking at introducing a muzzle. Mika has never seen one of these before. I think it's the right size, but I'm not going to throw it on her face to begin with. I'm going to slowly introduce it to her. So at the moment, she's just smelling it. Oh, she's getting with the chicken with it. So I'm just introducing her, letting her explore it. Although she's far more interested in the food in my pocket for the moment. Okay, so I'm going to encourage her just to put her muzzle into the muzzle. What a good girl. Can you get it in there? Oh, yeah! Hey, what a clever girl. What about through there? Girl. So we're just taking it nice and slowly. That's a very positive thing. Ah, the food's up here. Oh. It can be a little bit tricky to get the food through. Good girl. What a good girl. We'll just keep this session short and sharp. Oh, gone. So Mika's had a little break. Come on here, Mika. Good girl. Go side on so everyone can see. So, can't go around. You have to go through. What a good girl. Good girl. So I've just left it on there for a second. Okay, and we'll do it again. Go around and hold it. And take it off. Good girl. What a clever girl. You find that cloth muzzles would be even easier to introduce because they have to go through the end to get the food. These ones are a little bit tricky to get the food through, um, but these ones do allow the dogs to breathe a bit better. Um, they don't have anything restricting their their mouth, so they can breathe and drink easily. What a good girl. So we're just going to clip that on, and then. Good girl. What a good girl. So we'll try it again and I'll have some chicken ready to give her while she's got it on. Put it there. Oh, will I? Oh. Do anything for chicken, won't you? Ready? Can to come back through? So because she didn't like it, I'm just going to take it back a little bit. There we go. What a good girl. I know you love chicken. Okay. What a good girl. A little bit there. No, don't do a little bit. What a good girl. training you can click and introduce but it does get a little bit tricky with um, with food and muzzle and everything it doesn't mix mm -hmm. gets a little bit in the road come around here so people can see you good on. there you go yeah. oh what a good kid what a good kid a bit more there mm, yum 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 this is a good game, isn't it? Good girl. What a good girl. Slip it on. Want some more? Are you ready? Good girl. What a good girl. And it does feel weird and unusual. This one particularly because it's a um, plastic basket. But you can see we've only worked with Miko for a combined amount of less than five minutes probably today and she's handling it she's probably not loving having it on there but it comes with food so it's a good thing she's definitely not avoiding it Look, there's a little bit of food left in there 
Oh, I jumped three. Good girl. So if you're looking for long term, her enjoying this uh, this um, muzzle, then you should continue to practice this. So it's not something that you can do for five minutes on one afternoon. Yeah. And then assume that she's going to enjoy. Okay. So she's already. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. So this is just something that we keep on slowly, slowly doing. Um, and after a time, it has a really strong association with chicken. And in fact, a head halter, uh, uh, the halty head harness, can be done in a very similar way. Okay, so it's just about introducing them. Anything across their muzzle will be funny, um, and they don't like that, like it normally. But if it comes to me, chicken, oh yeah, the tail's wagging. <gasps> chicken. <gasps> Where's some more of that chicken? Oh, it's such a good thing. What a good girl. A little bit more. So there you go. It's just introducing that to, that to her. Spend time, take it slowly, keep the training sessions short, but do it quite regularly. It's always a positive thing, and soon enough, they can be um, accustomed to wearing it. Okay? Oh, God.